you are going to notice a big difference in school. You're going to notice a big difference in the atmosphere in your classroom, you're going to notice a big difference in your teacher's attitude to you and you're going to notice um, a big change in how much slack you're allowed. So maybe in year 9, maybe in year 10, if you didn't get your homework in, maybe, maybe you were supposed to get attention but maybe it didn't always happen. There's no slack in year 11. Year 11's a step up. You're in exam class now, which means your teachers are going to be really, really focused on you. Um, whereas previously you've had other exam classes take focus off you, now they're really, really focused on you. And this can be scary, this can be daunting, this can be really, really intimidating. But please remember that your teachers are doing it because they want you to get the best possible grade. And I am here to help you because I want you to get the best possible grade that you can. Um, so what I'd actually like you to do now is just pop down and read some of the comments because what I'm going to ask you to do, what I'm going to ask the year 12s to do in their video is to come and watch this video and give you some advice, kind of like and what did they wish they knew when they started year 11? Is there anything they would change about their year 11 experience? Is there anything that they wish they'd done differently in their year 11 experience? Because every single year I say exactly the same thing, but you need to start revising now and nobody ever does and then when we get to Easter everyone's kind of like oh we're still listening to mess so if you don't want to listen to me that's fine read the comments and maybe listen to some of the the people that have just done their exams so this year it's going to be hard it's going to be harsh but the most important thing that you have to remember is that you need to look after yourself you need to not only do everything that's expected for you at school, at home, but you need to prioritise looking after yourself. And this is looking after your mental health, this is looking after your physical health. So it's not actually good for you to stay up till three o'clock in the morning revising for a test the next day. I know you can go into school and boast about how much revision you did, how you stayed up really, really late revising, but please don't do it because it's not good for you. It's going to be much, much better to do 15 minutes each day then two hours in one massive chunk at midnight that's just not good for you it is going to be much much better if you can do little if you can do often if you're timetabling in things that are important to you like watching holidays or going out with your friends or going to play football those are an important part of this year so it's really really important that you do them because we do not want um, you need to get to the summer after your GCSE exams and just collapse because you've worked so, so hard for a couple of months. It is going to be so much better for you physically, mentally, grade-wise if we do little, if we do often. If we start now, and I don't mean start like hours and hours each night, I'm talking like 15 minutes, 20 minutes a subject once or twice a week. I'm not talking about doing loads and loads and loads. Um, and yeah, this is on top of your homework, which I know can seem like a lot. Um, but all of the stuff that you did in year 10, potentially all the stuff that you did in year 9, there's not going to be another chance to go over it before your exams. You, at GCSE, we go over stuff once, and then at the end of the course, the two or three year course, we examine you on it, which is, is a lot of stuff. So, the homework is going to be based on stuff that you're doing in year 11, um, but start revising stuff you did in year 9, start revising stuff you did in year 10, so that it's constant, so that it's fresh. Um, to help you guys out with this, what I've started to do over my website is just do little quizzes. So I am going to be rolling these out as quickly as I can um, get them up there for you, just little multiple choice quizzes, so that you don't have to think too hard, we well, do have to think, but you don't have to work too hard to find how to revise. So look, there are 50 questions on topic one of biology. If you get half of them right this month, okay, half's all right. But maybe if you do like spend, do the same 15 minute quiz, 10 minute quiz next month, maybe you'll get five more right. And then if you do it again the month after that, maybe you'll get 10 more right. And then if you keep doing it over and over again, if you do the quiz like every month from now until your exams, then you're going to know what the answers are because you've done loads and loads of revision. So 
I'm going to do as much stuff as I can to make your vision as easy as possible for you. I'm sure you know by now I have my revision guides for you which you can download free from the website because this is like a beast. Um, Amazon will print it off for you. You can go along and you can check off what you know. You can watch the whole topic videos. You can go, yep, I know that bit, but I need to revise that bit a bit more. I've written loads and loads of practice papers for you. There are going to be new ones coming out. There's going to be more coming out. So that you can go, you can do the practice baby you can see which bits you know and which bits you don't know, and you can give yourself a rough idea of what grade you're going to get. So, good luck with this, you guys. Um, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Um, I'm going to be doing science and maths for loads of different exam boards, loads and loads more of those are going to be coming out soon. Um, also going to be starting to introduce geography, yay! Um, so more subjects, more examples and taking you through to A level as well. So I am going to be working so, so hard to help you as much as I can, to make your life as easy as I can. Um, to make revision just something that fits in seamlessly with what you're doing and that you don't have to try too hard to find a good way to revise. I'm just going to provide it all for you. So, um, good luck guys. This is a really, really hard year, but we will get through it together. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.